Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and we are back with Invoked, this time with Roids. Now this deck's been around forever since Neo's Invoked was around. It was just second place behind Neo's Invoked. Invoked Neo's. Eleven months ago, guys, when I made this first, Kiteroid wasn't even banned. I was able to use three Kiteroid and two Concentrating Current. As you can imagine, Concentrating Current with Submarine Roid and Purgatrio is absolutely insane, even with Coctius, Cositus, is absolutely crazy. Still a very strong deck, probably the best way to run Invoked now that you don't use E-Sabers, you don't use Neos. That means Roids get their time to shine. Even with Kite Roid taking up your 2 slot, it's still super consistent. So we're just running 3 Submarine Roid, because he's pretty much your win con outside of your invoked monsters so he can get some direct attack going with Megroid City he does even more he does 1800 direct attack that is significant works out really well we have one rescue roid just as something searchable to get to Purgatrio now we could use them once from our hand then once from the graveyard that's two Purgatrios then you'll normally rely on like Purgatrios from the field to make your third Purgatrio so uh, we're only running one keeping the deck nice and thin we're also uh, running two Kyroid. Obviously, you search him, you mill him to the graveyard with Megroid City, whatever you want to do with him. He's your man. Then we have two Galaxy Cyclone. Works well because you could just set it, destroy it with Megroid City, search whatever Roid you want. Then it still has use in the graveyard. Same with Fiendish Chain. Let's say your opponent dodges your Fiendish Chain, gets rid of their monster, or just chains two Fiendish Chain to stop it. You're still going to have a face-up Venus Chain on the field. You can destroy it with Megaroid City, turn it into a Roid, continue your duel. We also have Floodgate Trap Hold like Venus Chain. Keep some monsters on the field. That way you could just swing over them or you could pierce them, whatever you're trying to do. Very consistent, very strong deck. We're using Dross and Stark. Does take 1500. Not a nice easy 1000 like we could use Cosmic Cyclone anyway. We can't with Alistair being on the 3 limit, but it's still pretty easy to do with Kyroid. You can control how much damage you take. Any one swing is usually going to get you your draw sense dark, draw into your Alistair, and likely win your duel. We are using some Xyz. You can possibly do it with Invoked and Submarine Roid. It's a little more rare, but it is a win con in case something else was to happen to your invocation, like they Cosmic Cyclone it or something. You still have other win cons. You can do an Xyz, you can win with Submarine Roid and Mega City, Mega Roid City combo. All that other stuff. Very strong, very deep deck, guys. Seems superficial, but it's actually very deep and consistent. So it's definitely worth it. Easy cog if you want it. Try it out, guys. Probably the best way to run Invoked now that E Sabers and Neos are dead. So I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. Alright, here we are facing an Odeon. Going second. Using some little D sod mat there. 22 cards of look like sets two back row, one monster. Now we top deck a rescue roid, even better. We get a Galaxy Cyclone and Belisa squad, that's not bad. Normal summon our Alistair, he's gonna get hit with a Fiendish Chain. Not the end of the world. Eventually we'll be able to destroy that Fiendish Chain with the Galaxy Cyclone. Not that we really need it, because we we're gonna destroy that Alistair anyway and search our submarine roid. So we're gonna just wait on our own Fiendish Chain. Here our boy summons Stellar Knights. We're gonna Fiendish Chain the Vega so he can't bring anything out from his hand. Why did I do that? If I let him get three level four monsters, he's gonna go into Delteros, he's gonna destroy that Fiendish Chain, then I'd have to use that Fiendish Chain. He'd be stuck with one monster who can't attack me. Here, he has one monster who I will gladly let attack me. Cause that's gonna be draw sense dark so now we're gonna draw sense dark we have whatever monster we want that's draw sense alistair normal summon him he has no back row to stop us this time so we do search the invocation now megroid city destroys our face down fiendish chain that's how bold we are to get our kite roid so now we're gonna go purgatrio because he's gonna be able to stop this attack invocation get that alistair back to our hand and that was uh Face up Fiendish Chain, by the way. It was on the Vega, if you'll recall. So now he goes with another Altair. 
brings out a Sukiyomi. Remember, when you use Altair, only your Stellar Knight monsters can attack, so he couldn't have attacked there. Not that he can swing into this Purgatrio. We set another Phoenix Chain. Normal Summon Alistair. Search out Invocation. That's the loop, guys. Megroid City destroys him. We have both Kiteroids. That's four instances of Kiteroids, guys. Invocation. Bye bye, Rescue Roid. Hello, second Purgatrio. Hit with the Floodgate. That's no problem. See, so we would use the third uh, Purgatrio. We'd get him out by using this face down Purgatrio. So we don't have to run more than one Rescue Roid. So we try to swing a Utopia. He negates it. We're still able to swing at the Altair. Or that was a Tsukiyomi. Now he's zero, guys. That means any monster can swing right through him. He does Endless Trap Hell to get a trap. Tries to use a Deneb. That's perfectly fine to use Fiendish Chain so he can't really build back up. He's going to counter trap it, which is even better because now he does lose the monster. It's a plus two, but he lost the monster. He's about to get ransacked. So he destroys our Purgatrio. Still not a problem because we can use it from the graveyard for another Purgatrio. We normal summon invocation. Now look at this play, guys. Karma cuts our Purgatrio. That's going to banish our other Purgatrio from the graveyard. No more Purgatrio for us, but we have other tricks up our sleeves. We're going to Megaroid City, the Alistair. We still got Invocation Monsters in Coctius. Here he comes. Still have the Kiteroids. Alistair back to the hand. That means we're fat, but we don't even have to be fat to beat this boy, because anything beats that boy. And guess what? You get to keep swinging after he's destroyed. Down to 1600. Don't even need to use our Baboose on our Cositas. Now we're normal summon submarine roid. We do have our gateway, so we go to Venus chain us. We know what he is. Satellar Knights, we're gonna keep destroying this monster. Top deck mode is not gonna save him. Andy Scoobs, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Tori. Going first. No silver mount for a girl over there. Let's see, we got a galaxy cyclone. We have Submarine Roid already to go with our Alistair. Search that invocation. Set the Phoenix Chain. We're going to go invocation right into uh, Cositas, Coctius, guys. He's going to DD Crow our freaking invocation. That's the only one we run. So he just got rid of our invocation with DD Crow. Hitting us with a Necro Valley. This guy's all over us. We're going to Galaxy Cyclone. His back row. Remember, you can't Galaxy Cyclone Necro Valley though, but we do get rid of our Geki Break. We're able to summon our Submarine Roid. Hit him for 800 damage. Flip to defense. Now, I'm assuming it's just a Gravekeeper Spy down there, but it's not. It's Weather Painters, so I probably should have attacked into that monster. No real big deal that I don't. Here, he's trying to use his monster's effects, so I make him chain his other monster's effect to it. That way, they're both off the field can't attack into us. Not that he was really gonna to begin with, but uh, works out pretty well with our boy now that we have Megaroid City. We really don't have to interact with these monsters. So we're gonna Megaroid that Fiendish Chain. Remember, he just dodged the Fiendish Chain, so it stays face up. We're able to destroy it with our Megaroid. That's double Submarine Roid. Why did he scoop? Because that's 1800 plus 1800. That's over 3,200, which is all the life points he had left. He already saw it coming. That's Megaroid City, guys. We go to dump some Kite Roids, dump the Rescue Roid, whatever we needed to do. Great stuff. All right, here we are facing a Leo. This time it's a Turbo Duel. That's why I got Draw Send Stark on our boy Crow, so we could get the Turbo Duels in. But remember, I don't use any of the skills, so this is purely an advantage to our opponent. We don't need the skills for these replays. Got a normal summon in Alistair. Now we'll keep in mind we already have Kyroid, but we do already have Megaroid City, so we're gonna destroy that Alistair. Search our rescue roid. Now we have Purgatrio. Gonna wait on the Purgatrio. Don't wanna get our field too too crazy out there. We'll just rely on our fiendish chain. So here are boys using King of the Swamp. Searching that poly. Now keep in mind we can use his King of the Swamp. We use it as a water monster, or we can use it as an Alistair from his graveyard. Here we want to use our Alistair to uh, keep that boy banished. Now we get him again. Remember, I haven't used my normal summon. We're able to normal summon once again. That's two perk trios, guys. This time, we're going to use that King of the Swamp as an Alistair. Banish his King of the Swamp and our Rescue Roid. 
That's the second Purgatrio while keeping our other Alistair. Negroid City destroys that Alistair for a second Kiteroid. Look at that resource advantage as if we needed it as we swing for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here's New School Seto. We're going first. Using Berry Magician Girl with a very menacing uh, Millennium Ring, so pretty interesting. We set a Fiendish Chain and a Floodgate Normal Summon. Our Alistair the Invoker, not going to go into a Purgatrio right off the bat. Maybe we'll pull into a Megroid City, be able to destroy that Alistair, whatever we want. Our opponent just Normal Summons a Sage, set to back row, and look at that, guys. We top deck the Megroid City, just like I said. He's going to, unfortunately, Treacherous, so we're still getting used out of that Alistair. Now we go into the immediate invocation, and you've seen me do this throughout the duels, guys. We're going double Purgatrio in the same turn, all because we saved an Alistair. So we normal summon him again. We already have that Rescuer in the graveyard from the last time. Destroy the Alistair with the Megaroid City. Search a Kiteroid just in case. Banish the two. That's double Purgatrio. He's going to need some back row to stop this lethal. He has more than enough with the Wall of D. So we got to fall back on our back row now. But we should be just fine. Here he's going to normal summon a Stone of Ancients. Send it away with his Sage. That brings out a Spirit of White. We're going to Fiendish Chain Spirit of White. But this is what I'm talking about with people dodging Fiendish Chain. They just dodge it. You get to keep your Fiendish Chain. You'll be able to destroy the Fiendish Chain with Megroid City. Search another Roid. Here he's going to attack us. Go ahead and attack us. That's going to give us a draw sense. Alistair, guys. Brings out another Blue Eyes with the Stone of Ancients. But we don't care. We're going to Floodgate that one. No big deal. Draw sense dark. That's only Alistair. He scoops after he sees it. We're going to make another huge Purgatrio. Great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Carly Carmine, the Dark Signer version. Going first, going for a rank up. This is real rank 2, so this deck's clearly easy cog. Very clappable. So we set two of our floodgates. We're going to normal summon our Alistair. Nothing too obviously fusion yet. And we call it a turn. Our boy normal summons, unfortunately, passed. We're going to floodgate her. So set two. Now we get Megaroid City. That's any Roid we want. We're able to use Galaxy Cyclone. It was a bluff on a calling. Megaroid City destroys our Alistair, searches our rescue Roid. Now check this out. It's a nice easy way to lethal when you get to protect your Alistair on the field. Because remember, you get your Alistair back, but instead of using him for damage, we haven't blown our normal summon yet. So we're able to normal summon once again. That's going to be two immediate Purgatrios with one Rescue Roid. That's why we only run one Rescue Roid. If we want a third Purgatrio, we're going to have to use another Purgatrio to do it. But our opponent only has one tiny monster, one bit of back row. It is an enemy controller. Would have been better use to Econ take. He would have taken the damage and uh, he would have stopped the attack while losing the same amount of cards. So he probably should have done an Econ take, but uh, maybe he just wanted a defense position monster. Anyway, Normal Summons another tuner, and we just Floodgate it for the scoop. Great stuff, guys. So this deck just comes at people. It has comebacks because you're usually sitting on Kyroids, and you're just a search away from being right back into the duel. Incredibly strong way to run Invoke. Possibly the best way to run Invoke now that E Sabers and Neos have kicked it. E-Sabers are still their own archetype of themselves. Neos is really struggling right now. But uh, yeah, super strong with Roids. Who'd have ever guessed it? Hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching.